Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, we will be talking about Sharnita explaining the situation with Dr. Heavenly. I made a video earlier this evening, you know, reminding everyone that she was going to go live tonight on Instagram to discuss things. And I said, you know, I have a feeling that it has to deal with this film fest. Because I look through on the Film Fest Instagram page, I look through the flyers, I saw her on the morning panels, I discussed that in my video earlier today, and then I did notice there was like a video, kind of like the, the videographer kind of did a pan across all of the speakers, and I looked a couple of times and I did not see Sharnita. So I said, okay, it's giving. I don't think she was there. And perhaps Dr. Heavenly said something out of the way, you know, and so she was going to explain it. So before we get into the sound bite and definitely my commentary, I ask that you all please hit the like button on this video. Even if you were to hit the dislike button, either one of those work the same meaning that YouTube will recommend this video to more people who enjoy discussing various topics of reality TV stars, celebrity tea. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I would definitely love to have you. And the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary on this um, Instagram Live is allowed. And everything that I'm saying is alleged and my opinion. All right. So Sharnita from Sharnita's World, she was explaining that she was led to not participate in the Fem Fest. It took place in Birmingham, Alabama, just a few days ago. If you go to the Fem Fest Instagram page, it even says all of the promotion says Dr. Heavenly presents Fem Fest Birmingham. And I find that to be very interesting. Dr. Heavenly is the face of it all. Um, it actually says Dr. Heavenly University presents FemFest Birmingham. So it's powered by her Dr. Heavenly University where she teaches people about how to invest money, how to grow your savings. And remember, um, she tried to clown Sweet Tea from Married to Medicine saying that when she joined the, the Dr. Heavenly University Zoom, she did not think to mute her mic and just, you know, really judged her and made a big deal off of simple mistakes that people do. Like my coworkers, when we have virtual meetings, there's it's always like the same person, the same guy who doesn't think to mute himself. And he's on the phone taking care of personal business. So embarrassing, like anybody can do that. But Dr. Heavenly makes it so judgmental as if she's so perfect. One of my sisters, we're 14 years apart. She is very financially savvy with her first marriage. She's only been married once anyway, but with her marriage, like she said, like her ex-husband's money was garnished. So her money was garnished and she vowed never again to go through that. So she is like very, she reads all the Susie Orman books and is into saving and investing. And she too is judgmental. Kind of, I just had that revelation. Dr. Heavenly does remind me of that particular sister of mine. But anyway, so Sharnita was explaining that, you know, her supporters were in her comments saying, you know, don't really collaborate with Dr. Heavenly. She's messy. And she was led to pull out of the FemFest. Well, Dr. Heavenly never removed Sharnita's image and likeness off of the flyers. And then that same morning panel that I showed in my earlier video, Sharnita said she had me listed on the morning panel. And I did not like that. And when she was introducing me, you know, and interviewing with me, she was mispronouncing my name. She was trying to connect me with businesses that I don't really do. And Sharnita found that to be disrespectful. And I totally get it. So um, I definitely understand her pulling out because not everyone deserves your presence and your energy. If you are a positive person, you encourage people, you compliment others, you don't go out of your way to make fun of people, to front on them, to provoke them. Everyone is not going to be deserving of such pure positive energy. 
in Dr. Heavenly, she definitely gives that, you know, I can give her her props and being knowledgeable about saving and investing money. She is an educated black woman. She is a dentist, but I know that she would try to test people, test women. And Sharnita is younger than her, gorgeous. So I know I'm sure the cattiness just kind of comes out naturally, unfortunately. But I want to get into this soundbite and then I will come back with my commentary. Here we go. Connected with her in the spirit just was not right. So that's 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 what did it for me, if that makes sense. Then I which has been taken down, I also seen where where it was a couple of my um supporters come in and she came back and she said that. I, you know, a couple of us have bailed out last minute. I didn't bail out last minute. I gave you a whole week and a half. So I'm guessing, and I had a few people to go to the event thinking I was going to be there. So what was said at the event to my friend that I bailed out last minute. That's, that's, that was it for me. So I was like, a couple of, mind you, they, I, I let the announce. If I told you I'm not coming, you should have took me off the flyer. So I just don't, I don't like those certain moves. You still sold the tickets, and my supporters still came, and I wasn't there. And they had to ask where I was, and you tell them I bail out at the last minute. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, I heard her mispronounce your name and didn't like it. I felt it was intentional. Yes, she was pronouncing it wrong. And when I got on my um, got on the phone with my publicist, I let I told her she was pronouncing my name wrong, and I just didn't care for the interview. I, I don't. I just didn't care for it. Um. So. Yeah. So some of my people still came to that event and paid, and she told them that I just basically didn't show it. I, I basically canceled last minute. And I was not the only one that actually pulled out, you know. So I pulled out because, again, I said I do not do miss. My brain, my part of my brain, I do not do mess. So if I, it feel like mess, if it don't feel right, I don't do it. Okay. So it does not have anything directly to do on my end with Melly. Now, what was her issues? Whether it was with other people or whoever she chose, you know. But I do believe she knew exactly who I was. So no. But I feel like on a positive note. I want to thank you guys, my supporters, for uh, protecting me. But and I'm, you know, I'm in a stage where I'm in a in a mindset right now. I'm really obedient, and I feel like whoever is there for me, they're gonna direct, help me direct my path. So I feel like I appreciate you guys for giving me, you know, shielding me because that could have been bad. But y'all have a good night. I just wanted to clear the air uh, and keep it positive. I don't have any problems. It's just some people, it's not for your brand. I'm not even going to say for me. It's not for my brand, and I'm going to keep it as that. But I would say, I feel like I have a lot of credibility where you least could have researched me and know my name. And I didn't like how you posted a flyer the same morning panel when you knew I was not the morning panel and still taking the ticket sales of my friends who came out and then telling them that I bailed out last minute. So, mm -mm. no. So y'all have a good night. I just wanted to clear the air. I love you guys. Bye-bye. So there you go. So Sharnita pointed out that she uh, pulled out of the Fem Fest a week and a half before it started. I feel like that is ample time. 
um, to update the Instagram, update the flyer. Everything is digital now. Whomever Dr. Heavenly was working with to produce those flyers to post on IG, they could have easily just taken out Sharnita's image and then boom, here's another flyer. People would not have scrolled down or made it a big deal, like counted the number of people on each flyer to see if it was different, you know? So I totally feel like she gave the committee and Dr. Heavenly ample time to know that she would not be there and to make the snarky comment that there were people who bailed out last minute. That is definitely not cool. That's trying to talk about Sharnita in a negative light. And, you know, I'm just wondering where's all this negative energy coming from? What I will say is that just from watching Dr. Heavenly on reality TV, on Married to Medicine, as well as her commentary lives on YouTube, Dr. Heavenly can definitely operate from a place of pride and she will definitely have something else to say. If she does not go live this week, or even discuss it in Patreon. She will definitely discuss it on Carlos King's YouTube channel next Monday when they give commentary on part three of the Married to Medicine reunion. And I will definitely um, be in the bushes checking it out and I will bring my commentary to you about that as well. But Sharnita, honey, you have handled this great. She's so well-spoken, so down to earth and so beautiful. I thought that this was great and I totally hear where you're coming from. And I appreciate you speaking up for yourself and following your heart and not self-betraying by continuing to go with the Film Fest, although you had a bad feeling about it. Definitely follow your gut. If any of you have worked in finance, particularly at a bank, you know that the loss prevention department, which is like anti-fraud and security, they teach you to go with your gut. If you feel like someone could be defrauding your elderly client, you know, definitely report that. If you feel like something may be going on internally with an employee could be stealing, you know, don't betray yourself by ignoring your gut feeling and telling yourself that you're just exaggerating or you're being paranoid. No, trust yourself. Love, trust, and accept yourself. So I'm so glad that Sharnita did that. And kudos to her supporters who kept it real in her comment section. And she just felt totally led. She said that, you know, the spirit wasn't right. And so she pulled out of the Fem Fest and she did a week and a half in, in ahead of time. And another thing that I want to speak on is that, you know, because I've experienced where like if you can't make it to something or you can't do something and then the person just blows up, they are pissed. Like it is your right to change your mind. That is normal. And if someone freaks out or almost acts like they are the boss of you or the owner of you because you change your mind, huge red flag. And you need to create some boundaries with that person because they are tripping. And I have definitely experienced that before. So um, that's what it sounds like it was giving with Dr. Heavenly. Like, how dare you cancel out on my event? How dare you? So that's that's definitely not cool. And um, it sounds like Dr. Heavenly may need to eat not just a slice of humble pie, but maybe the whole humble pie. Okay. Well, let me know in the comments, what did you all think of this situation? I'm totally not surprised because it's Dr. Heavenly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate your support. Please hit the like button on this video if you have not already done so. It is a free way of supporting the channel. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit if you have not already done so. All right, we are approaching the middle of the week. You all have an excellent night and I will talk with you soon. Bye.